I know a lot of PTC people watch my video, so I could be screwing myself with this one. Earlier today, I upgraded to Creo Parametric 6.0, the 6.0.1.0, or what I call the MO10 build code, and I noticed that on the Live Simulation tab, I had a free trial button. I got a free trial last year in Creo Parametric 5.0, but I thought, what the heck, let me hit the button, and I did use a different email address, but they gave me another trial of live simulation for 20 days. And I want to show you a bunch of videos on this because I admit, I absolutely love this. And I've got this part open. Let's go to the live simulation tab. And it's asked me, hey, Creel, provide some content to help you get started faster. Would you like to review it? No, I don't because it's so simple and easy to use that I don't need to review it. And down at the bottom of the screen, it was loading the Creo Simulation Live Libraries. You'll notice that we have the World Coordinate System down at the bottom. And I like using this model from PTC's World Card Dataset because it is so complicated. And I actually tried to do a modal analysis on this particular part in Creo Simulate and it took about 18 minutes to run. So let's see how Creo Simulation Live compares to that. And if you're unfamiliar with Creo Simulation Live, it's ANSYS built in as a real-time simulation and analysis tool as you are working in Creo Parametric. And I'm on the Live Simulation tab. Right now we have a default structural analysis set up and you can define your constraints and your loads, but I'm a big fan of modal analyses. So I can go to the setup drop, oh excuse me, from the Add Simulation drop down menu and here's where you could create another structural analysis. This is for a thermal analysis. And the other icon over here is to create a modal analysis. And for a modal analysis, I'm going to define some constraints. And I'm not going to constrain all the different bolt holes in here because I want to get a fair amount of motion in this part. Let's start off by defining some fixed constraints. And you'll notice that we have a fixed constraint dialog box. You could change the name of the constraint. This button allows you to change the color that the constraints will appear in. And I'm just going to hold down the control key to select these surfaces here that I'm going to use to simulate the bolts that are holding it down. And boom, boom, get, let's get those eight. And I'm going to get a few up at the top. I'm not going to constrain all the ones up at the top. But again, hold down control. Let's grab some of these cylindrical surfaces. And again, I'm not simulating the actual real world because I do want to see a lot of flopping around in the modal runs. And I click that and you can see the indication of the constraints that are applied at those different locations. When I go to start the simulation, you'll notice that, boom, I'm going to get an error. It's like, hey, the live simulation cannot run as the model has incomplete or missing material definition. So let's close out of here. And obviously you have to define a material. So let's go to material properties. Materials not assigned. Let's click the change button. And in Creo Parametric 4.0, you got the limited set of granted materials, which is awesome. Let's go to ferrous metals. And I'm going to use a high carbon steel. Let's right click on it and choose assign. And then click OK. and our model properties dialog box lists the material. Now we can close. Now that we have the material signed, we will hit the simulate button and let's see how fast it takes to run this. So starting now. And you can see as the colors progress along there, it's doing the calculations. We have the legend in the upper right hand corner where it is pursuing the calculation. And there we can see that our first mode is about 610 hertz. And again, that was just absolutely ridiculously fast in order to get that value. Let's click on the result options dialog box. Since this is a modal analysis, I'm primarily interested in the shape of the mode. So by clicking on this button, we can 
go to the options and then you hit the play button and this will animate it and there I'm seeing the shape of the first mode let's grab this slider and drag it out to the right if you want to increase the scale you can do that as well in order to get a more exaggerated shape but let's slide both of those back down over here and one of the big points of doing this is that as you make changes to the model this is going to update oh yeah before i close out of here one other thing that i want to show this button will allow you to toggle the display of the uh, modes on or off and that way if i get out of simulate and then click and repaint i don't see them anymore but hit the simulate button and again we're seeing the result I could go back to result options and then animate it again, but I've turned off the display of the constraints just so that I see a much clearer picture without the uh, visualiz visualization of the constraints getting in the way. And for these different uh, colors for the amount of the displacement, that's all relative. Again, with a modal analysis, you are interested in the modal frequency and the shape of the modes. Let's also go to result options. This is our first mode. You'll notice that you get six modes in here. Let's go to the second mode. And we can see how that shape is a little different. Then go to the third mode. Okay, there we see it going up and down. And the fourth mode. And then the fifth mode and as I'm doing this you'll notice that the value of the modal frequency is updating in there so we can see that the fifth mode is about 1420 Hertz and then the sixth mode a little higher than that and let's go back to our first mode so that is great let's close out of here and then I'm gonna click on the model tab and actually let's go back and turn it off so I can Turn off the animation. Ah, let's just turn off the simulation. I'm going to make a design change so that we can see the results of this. Let's create a datum plane going through, say, this surface over here. And let's make sure. Okay, the datum plane is selected. Let's use the solidify button. Just trying to do a very quick change to the part. That is good. It removed the side that I wanted to. Let's hit the check mark. Again, this part has some complexity to it. And go back and then hit simulate and it's saying that hey you have started it and again it is updating the calculation to see what the modal frequency is and we got some of that material hanging off the side removed from the part and we can see that it is closing in looks like about 742 hertz again it's just ridiculously fast to update these calculations and the reason that creo simulation live is so fast is that it's actually running off of my graphics processor unit and it's not going to create a whole bunch of files it stores the definition of the anim of excuse me of the analysis in the model but it's not generating a whole bunch of different output files that you are going to trace around and similarly let's go make another couple changes let's go to our material properties and let's change from that steel let's change to wrought aluminum and right click on that let's choose assign Yes, we're going to replace what's currently assigned to the model and click OK. And you can see that we're getting a little. OK, there we go. Let's click the close button. And again, it is redoing the calculation as soon as I make the change. And we can see that changing that material property is going to end up dropping that first mode down a little bit to about 727 Hertz and then let's go back to our model and I am going to delete that last cut I did with a datum plane and restores the material then we can see the simulation coming up again and 
the results are updating. Adding that additional material over on the end makes it a little more essentially elastic and we can see that the first mode ends up dropping down to 597.9 hertz and like before if i want to see that we can go into the result options and then we can play the first mode and see what it looks like and go back and take a look at the shapes of the other modes as well so again creo simulation live if you're in creo parametric 4.0, I believe the M090 build code, and later you can get the free trial. It's available in Creo Simulate, excuse me, Creo Parametric 5.0 and Creo Parametric 6.0. Get it, play around with it. It is just absolutely amazing. Uh, please let me know in the comments if this kind of real time simulation is something that you would benefit from. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of more Creo Simulation Live videos over the next few weeks. Thank you very much.